welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another video tutorial of Photoshop Element 6. Now I've had a lot of people email me and I've had a lot of people put comments out on the YouTube videos asking me how would you watermark a particular picture. And I've directed a few people back to the signature where we can do it one at a time. That's a little time consuming. Today I thought I would show you a really easy and nice way to uh, make this very quick so you can have all your pictures watermarked um, because like myself I, I do weddings so I am a, a part-time wedding photographer and I want to make sure I take those 400 pictures and watermark those very rapidly so I found a really cool way in Photoshop Element 6 first of all I want you to open up your editor and have your editor open such as mine is now and what we're going to do is we're going to take a group of pictures and I'm just going to stick a bunch of pictures into a folder. So I'm going to go right into my pictures. I'll pull this down here a little bit so we can keep this in the recording. And we're going to find some pictures that we want to watermark. Um, we'll just go into some of these I guess. Now we'll take these pictures and we're going to take a group of them and we'll just use this many. However, it is at uh, 12, about 15, 16 pictures. Right click on it. We're going to copy this out. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is just so I don't have to do a whole bunch. But let's say one of your folders here, um, and you have to know which folders your pictures are in. So, down here, I'm going to create a new folder. We're going to call this Watermark. And in here, we're going to just paste these pictures in here. Okay. These are the pictures we're going to actually watermark. Now, a basic watermark is basically just a copyright on top of your picture, and it could be pretty much any text you want it to be. The reason we, we watermark a picture, let's say you upload your pictures to Flickr or any of the web uh, photo sharing sites people are pretty much free to right click on them and save them as a file, take them to their local uh, discount store and have them printed. But if you watermark it that's copyrighted to you, then they can't do this because they will not print the picture off. So now we have a folder called watermark. I'm going to create one more folder here just to hold our completed pictures and we'll call this complete. Completed. All right. This way I know once my watermarks are on, all the pictures will be in this completed folder. Let's go ahead and just minimize this out of our way. Now, if on the editor, you don't need anything open in here, just click on File. Go down to Process Multiple Files. Go ahead and click on that. Now, at this point, we need our source. And as you see up here, we have Folder. So that's why I told you it's important to know where your pictures are. We'll click this. We're going to go down here, should be able to go under my documents, my pictures, and then the folder I copied them into is called watermark. Next, we're going to go to the destination. So we'll go here, Let's see if we go back here, if we can get back to that same place, my pictures and completed as the folder we created to hold our completed pictures in. Now, batch processing, we'll go over more of this later on. Today is just mainly looking at watermarking. But you can do such things as renaming a whole batch of files. You can make them compatibility for Windows, Mac OS, or Unix, which is a Linux version, if you're not familiar. We can resize them. We'll look at that sometime because resizing is important if you're going to post a bunch of pictures to the Internet. You don't want to post you know, 5 megabyte high-resolution files to the Internet. They look very good at a lower resolution, so we can drop that down here. We can also convert the file types to different files. If you look here, you have all different kind of files you can convert them to. But today we're going to look at how do we make a watermark. So over here, let's click on the pull down where it says labels. You see right here it says watermark. Also under here, we can put a caption on them. So let's say watermark. We're going to put on here CC is the standard for copyright and um, we'll just put my company on here memories by Jack 
That way it's, it's copyrighted to Memories by Jack. That's my, my uh, company. Now position, bottom left, centered, right dead center in the picture, or bottom right. I like them to be on the bottom right. Just that way when you're looking at the pictures, it always seems like our eyes are pulled down to the bottom right for some reason. I don't know why that is. The opacity, we can raise that up. This is, do you want to make it real light? Like it's blending in the background? Or raise it up. Like 70 is pretty good. Color is strictly based on you. White usually works if you have a lot of color pictures. Um, and you might want to adjust this up and down. So you could do this a few times maybe if it didn't look quite right. So there we go. Everything's set up and ready to go. All we need to do now is click OK and we're going to process all the files in watermark and put them in completed. Let's see how this works. And it'll actually fire it right up through the editor. It's going to process multiple files. And you can see it's adding the copyright logo there, a little bit of text on the lower right hand corner of the picture if you can see that flashing. And we're going to let these go here. It's very fast. You can go, if you have 400 pictures, you can go have a cup of coffee or do whatever you wish at that point. And just complete them out there. And at that point, the pictures are done. Now, so I can show you this. Remember, we created a folder in here called Completed. We had nothing in there, but now you see this is a duplicate of the watermark. So let's open that. Now, if you can see this right here on the bottom, it now has a CC memories by Jack it's copyrighted you can have any logo on there anything you want to do any kind of text I'd like to show that to you a little bit bigger let's just open it up here a little bit and open with let's see what we can open it with uh, let's try this here you go right here at the bottom see where it says CC memories by Jack so it added those very, very quickly and very easily. Uh, it didn't take me a whole lot of work to do that. So that's how you would actually add a watermark to your picture. Well, I hope that that's a um, good tutorial for you. I hope you've learned a lot there. Um, it's a very nice, quick way. Thanks for everybody out there who's subscribing to the show. And remember, if you want to donate to the show, go to jackstechcorner.com. There's a PayPal donation button now right on the main page. Just click on there. All donations really, really help me out. I really do appreciate it. Um, it helps to uh, keep the computers running. It helps to pay for the websites. That's very important. So thank you very much to everybody. Um, thanks for subscribing and spreading the word. A lot of you have been emailing me, said you've been spreading the word around. So until next time, keep those shutters clicking and keep your mouse uh, clicking on your Photoshop Element 6. I'll see you back here very soon with another video tutorial. So long for now from Jack at Jack's Tech Corner.